entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Okay, okay, okay. Trey Six Hundo. Three Six Double O. Let's go, y'all. Y'all know what's going on, man. Trace six hundred low, three six double low, Trace six hundred low, three six double low. Hey man, say man, it's your boy Trace Six Hundred Quitting TV. We back again with another one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Shout out to the notification family. Salute to all my new subscribers and all my day ones. I do this for y'all. Let's get it. Today's story is coming all the way from Houston, Texas. We got Sauce Walker going off on all of the skeptics and all of the people that have so much to say about Shakur Stevenson. And we gonna break it down. And this is including Joe Budden. Let's get it. Now, if you didn't know Shakur Stevenson, he's a crazy dope fighter, man. He's um he he gets a lot of wins, and when he fights people, he doesn't knock them out. But his style, you know what I'm saying, is he don't lose, and a lot of people they don't want to fight him. And everybody since he um just took, fought his last fight, everybody has a lot to say, a lot of critique, a lot of scrutiny. Even Joe Button, um, he has some stuff to say about him, saying that he might not be a box office fighter, you know. And we're gonna we're gonna get to the clip. Then the Shakur fight, and I watched at least ten rounds of this before it was enough for me. Now I'm gonna watch how I talk, cause Shakur is big jersey, mm -hmm. and if he could say that shit to Mace, he could say it a million times to Joe Button. <laughs> <laughs> but my question was gonna be. Is Sha Shakur, Shakir Stevenson Shakur. Shakur Stevenson box office? No. That's my only question. I, don't I watched the fight. Some of the best defense ever. I can see why he don't get hit. And I can see that he's clearly a superior boxer box. to a lot of people. I can see why people do not want to box him. Mm -hmm. But... I think to be at a certain level, you need to be box office, and that don't begin in the ring. Now, as you heard, uh, Joe Button, he definitely was one of the, um, the skeptics. Mason Cameron, they had a lot to say. Um, he, uh, Shakur had a back and forth with Cameron, and Mace was crazy. Joe Button said he wasn't trying to have that smoke with him. But um, it's, it's real wild, man. It's really wild because they saying that, like, you know, they, he can win fights. And he does it like a Floyd Mayweather style, but he might not be just a bigger fighter. And Sauce Walker saw this, and he had a lot to say, and he went off on everybody. And he just basically was saying, hey, man, y'all messing it up for everybody, man. Y'all messing it up for the fans, the way that y'all are treating this. Because boxing, in the way that he fight, he fights like a great fighter just because he don't knock people out every round. You know, y'all can't discredit him. But we're gonna get to it. Let's go. Fucked up here, day, but who cares? Hey, my shit really look good. But anyway, fuck all that shit, man. Back to the subject at hand. Y'all pissing me off right now. Y'all fucking up my enjoyment as a true boxing fan and a boxing enthusiast with all this Shakur Stevenson slander bullshit. Like at the end of the day, y'all don't know boxing, bro. Y'all all sound stupid. How is y'all more fucked up or more concerned or have more to say about the fact uh, about Shakur Stevenson's last performance? Versus Ryan Garcia using performance enhancement drugs. Y'all are more motherfucking ecstatic and more in tune. And, or or y'all are more infuriated. Fuck all that. Y'all are more mad and displeased of, of, a, of a young black man's performance as a boxer than, a, uh, than another young man using drugs against a black man. Just say y'all want to see a nigga get dropped. Just say y'all. Just say it. Just say y'all want to see niggas lose. Just say it, bro. At this point, y'all sound dumbed in a bitch. And no, and hold on, and this is not just for Shakur Stevenson. Y'all know this is boxing period. Y'all motherfuckers, uh, my nigga Benavidez. Y'all just said Benavidez had a poor performance, or is Benavidez exposed now because of when he just fought the last dude, he didn't knock him out. Oh my god, y'all are fucking idiots. Y'all don't know nothing about boxing. I'm sorry. Like, basically, what you let me let me explain to you what you're saying in 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 in, in, in other sports terms. How, how dumb you sound when you say Shakur Stevenson is a boring boxer after this man just put on a masterclass performance last week. The 
equivalent of a slam dunk in a boxing ring is a knockout, right? The equivalent of great IQ defense and parrying shots is the equivalent of a three-point shot. The step, the hard and step back fade away. Do you try, are you trying to tell me that James Harden and Stephen Curry are not exciting athletes, are not some of the best athletes, most exciting athletes, ticket selling athletes that ever graced the fucking floor, even Reggie Miller. These niggas don't dunk. Well, James Harden here and there. But at the end of the day, just like Shakur Stevenson, here and there, you're going to get a knockout. But the skill set is masterful. You don't respect it because you don't know how to fight. You don't know how to box. You don't understand pain. You might have a fight with, uh, around a corner with your cousin. And you never fought nobody that's trained with skill. That's really sending shots at you. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. So you don't know how to interpret it when you're making an opinion on boxing, bro. At the end of the day, boxing is not just about knockouts. That's cool. That's what's up. That's amazing. But boxing is about skill. Boxing is about heart. Boxing is about motherfucking me. Mental capacity. Vision. Uh, IQ. Uh, 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 setups. Tricks. Motherfucking me being elusiveness. Leg work. Feet work. Like, it's so much shit that go into a great boxer. Defense is just as exciting as offense. You don't understand that because you're a casual boxer fan. You're not a real boxing enthusiast. You don't know shit about boxing. That's why y'all saying this stupid shit. So Chris Stevenson is a phenomenal fighter. So is Devin Haney. Now let's speak on this shit with the Ryan Garcia. How, this shit really pissed me off. How y'all more mad about so Chris Stevenson's last performance than Ryan Garcia using performance of hand drugs? That shit is fucking mind blowing to me. When credited, so Devin Haney fucked up by not getting caught with all the left hands. Ain't nobody saying that. Devin Haney, you should have had your hand up. Yeah, all that shit, boo. You should have had your hand up with the jab. You shouldn't be jabbing like that. Respect, I get it. But for the, the likes of showbiz and I not fuck with showbiz the adult, just all the blogging podcasts to be trying to assassinate this man, Shakur Stevenson, skill set as a boxer is fucking blasphemy me to me when y'all praise Lomachenko. When y'all praise uh 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 what was that dude's name? Uh not Andre uh Tim Woodley or Wood Woodley, whatever the dude was that lost the uh, uh that lost the uh Regis Pro grade before Devin Haney bought him, bought him when he got the belt. Y'all praise him. He not no knockout artist. Y'all praise uh, Fidel Whitaker. He wasn't no knockout artist. Y'all praise Floyd Mayweather. Great fighter. Best fighter ever. Not a knockout artist, though. Like, I can go on and on about so many fighters. There was great fighters. There was not knockout artists. There were entertaining fighters, bro. So you, that shit sounds dumb to me. That when LeBron James, when LeBron James go chase down a defend, a a a a, 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 a point guard, whoever the fuck playing with the ball, LeBron James chases down the defender and goddamn block the block the shot on the back of the backboard. That's exciting. That is a physical feat. So when I, when I see Jerome Boots in is the best defensive fighter in boxing, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Just, I, I, baby, I love you, my daughter right there. I, I feel like, I feel like Jerome Boots Ennis is the best fighter in boxing, period. I feel like Kid Austin and Abdul Mason are the best prospects in boxing, period. Shakur Stevenson is the ultimate IQ in defense in boxing right now in the 135 division. Javante Davis is the most special boxer in the 135 division. He has the the killer, the biggest killer instinct in the 135 division. And the nigga with the biggest balls in the 135 division, no homo, no diddy, who gonna fight anybody and run down. And I feel like ain't scared of nothing nigga punch that has the capabilities to fight against anybody in 135. He just haven't been giving all the shots. Keyshawn Davis, another person who's not a knockout artist. I beat your ass though. Keyshawn Davis ain't a knockout artist. I go up and someone beat people up. Like y'all sound wild as fuck to me, nigga. Fuck, I said that lawyer wasn't no knockout artist. I said that lawyer go up in there and beat people up. He's not a knockout artist. Like y'all sound crazy as fuck to me, bro. Like this shit is wild, blood. Like I'm just saying, y'all making boxing boring, having y'all y'all opinions in it. Y'all even know what the fuck it is. As you heard, Sauce Walker was not happy, man. He's saying that. They got Shakur Stevens messed up, man. He does his job, but, you know, they just critiquing him on this last fight. 
and they treating him worse, you know, than the Ryan Garcia. And he just said, hey, man, is, is it y'all just do y'all want to just see, you know, what I'm saying us black folks get knocked out because it's look like the narrative is getting switched. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation, man. Is Joe Budden, is all the other people or are they overreacting Mace Cameron about um, Shakur Stevenson or are they right? And Shakur Stevenson, you know, he's not um, a top fighter. And, you know, I guess he needs to step it up. But, hey, y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. It's your boy, Tracy Sundo, Quinn TV. Like, comment, subscribe. Might as well. Tracy Sundo, hey, this is the drop right here. If you ain't with it, you getting dropped, baby. Get with it before you get left behind, baby. Yes, sir. Hey, what's going down, baby? It's Black Smooth the Barber behind every legend. It's a great barber. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Mr. Mike, don't trust you in the building. I ain't got no legend with me right now, except Black Smooth the Barber, but we rocking with Tracy Sundo. Tracy Sundo! Tracy Sundo! Yeah! Yo, yo, what's happening? It's your big guy, Gorilla Zoe.